Hello Rutbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a special DayZ video. Today we are taking a brand new look at Myths of DayZ. There has been so many changes over the years. This game first came out in some way, shape or form as a mod in 2013. Since then it's gone on to become its own standalone game and has been different updates, different versions. There's a whole host of new stuff and old stuff that sometimes gets a bit mixed up. When I did my video recently talking about melee weapons, a lot of you guys were telling me that can of beans was supreme and it was the king of all melee weapons. Well, we're going to test that out today and find out the truth whether or not a can of beans really is one of the best melee weapons in the game. So right now I'm playing 1.4. I'm always going to do this and give you the update number. I'm playing on PC and this update will be coming to Xbox and PlayStation hopefully this July. I spawned in a bunch of different enemy types and we went toe to toe, fist to fist to see who has the mightiest punch of all? Is it with a can of beans? Is it bare knuckle boxer supreme, rat bag jadus? Or does a tin of peaches or baked beans actually do the job a lot quicker? So you see me meleeing a bunch of different guys here. We're gonna be taking an in-depth look a little bit closer. But on average, it takes around three punches if you're aiming correctly at a zombie's head to knock them the fuck down. Using a flare, surprisingly or not surprisingly, it's going to take a good few more swings as you're actually proper lurching and lunging forward for the zombie. It usually takes around five to seven swings to actually knock a zombie or infected out. Now we have got brass knuckles as well. I'll be showing you guys them in two seconds. But let's do it. Let's put the beans in my hand and see what this can can do. It's all about the timing. It's all about the aiming. I give them a one. Give him a two, give him another three, and he's out of there. So, what's going on here? Oh yes, look, they all want my beans. Come get my beans, guys. I know you want my beans. So, a can of beans in hand with all these infected. Is it going to do a better job than fists? <gasps> no, it doesn't. It's exactly the same. It's going to be three punches, and the zombies are going down. Now, of course, this doesn't account for players. But lots of you guys were telling me that my melee weapons video was wrong and that knives weren't as good as a tin of beans and I am about to say bullshit. A knife is always going to be better than a tin of beans because a knife does bleed damage. So even if you don't actually knock out a player when he's coming up to you or when you're ambushing someone, chances are hopefully you can make them bleed, slow them down and maybe finish the job off or at least chase them around the map. I went back to my fist once more just to have a good old test and I've done this three, four times testing out different types of items that I could use. We're going to see a water bottle, in fact it's exactly the same as a tin of beans or exactly the same as your fist. It's all just about how you aim. If you aim slightly off, sometimes you're not going to connect with that one, two, three and that means the zombies, the infected, are going to take a bit longer to go down. Maybe it was different in past updates, maybe there was some super natural ability with a tin of beans or peaches. But as of 1.4, right now, you do not do any more damage. You do not take out zombies any quicker with a can in your hand rather than just using your fist or using any other item. Take a look at my water bottle and it's pretty much a similar story. One to three punches will go down just depending on whether or not your aim is being good or whether or not you're being a little bit of a potato. It's pretty conclusive, I feel. Literally zombies are going down exactly the same amount of swings, exactly the same amount of connects when you aim correctly. So I'm sorry to break it to you, you heathens running around Chinaris with your tin of beans thinking you're double hard nut bastards. It doesn't really matter what you have in your hands, go ahead and just use your fists, go ahead and use a tin of beans if you really want, it has no difference. I took my time with this one and decided to hit this guy a little bit slower with just my right hand because that's the hand I lead with. One. Two, three, and he's out of there. Three hits from either of your fists, and that's it. A zombie should go over, even wearing flat gear and heavy armor like these guys. I think this myth started because when you actually hit a zombie with a tin of beans, it does seem to have a slightly different animation, as you can see from here. I'm still hitting it three times, and there's even a bit of blood spatter. So I guess a lot of people are actually thinking it does more damage. A knuckle duster does around 13 health damage, it's going to give 15 shock damage but it doesn't do any blood damage. So a knuckle duster can be good as well but it still takes 3 hits with a knuckle duster to make a zombie actually go down. 
Now, obviously you're wondering, what about players? Well, I've gone around and I've used a bunch of different items on different players, and I've yet to see a tin of beans actually cause any bleed damage. Of course, I won't know that for sure, and I'm doing this on a solo world on my offline mode, so I can't guarantee that the tin of beans doesn't necessarily do more damage to players, but you guys were very specific saying it's the best tool to use against zombies. Also, to back up my claim that it's a myth, there is nothing on the wiki, nothing on the forums that actually says a tin of beams does have any significant health damage over any other weapon. Long story short, go ahead and mix it up, use a knife, use different weather weapons, use a knuckle duster, but if all else fails, don't panic so much about them tin of beams, you go ahead and just eat them rather than wasting them as a weapon. Agree, disagree, pop your proof in the comment section. Let me know what you want me to check out next. What myths do you want me to bust? What truths do you want me to confirm? Leave the comments in the description box down below. Don't forget to like and make sure you come join Discord to hook up with my crew and we roll around Chinuris together on the PlayStation 4. Until then, laters, Rapax.